People around the East Coast still have some frayed nerves after a rare and strong earthquake. The 5.8 shaker caused some moderate damage yesterday. It also sparked concern at some nuclear power plants. We get more now from Brian Todd. That was Brian Todd reporting. Now, the earthquake was the strongest to hit some parts of the East Coast since the late 1800s and was even felt in Canada. A 31-year-old tradition may be about to come to an abrupt end after LA officials today refused to give a last-minute lifeline to the Sunset Junction Street Festival. Well, police in San Diego are still puzzled by the death of a pharmaceutical CEO's girlfriend. As on the International Space Station might start to run tight after a Russian cargo rocket crashed. The unmanned rocket was launched earlier today from... Health experts say there is an increase in unplanned pregnancies among low-income women. A new st latest health news, click on ktla.com slash health. Well, in today's Eat Beat, LA Times test kitchen manager Noelle Carter whips up some delicious apple muffins that will melt in your mouth. Let's take a look. She closed down thousands of people filling them for the Sunset Junction Festival. That's not going to be happening now. I'll tell you why in a live report. Silver Lake, Leela. That's right, Micah. Katie Lang, Butthole Surfers, Little John, just a few of the bands that were set to play here this weekend. But this 31-year-old tradition is about to come to a very abrupt end. Well, obviously, being too big will no longer be a problem as the festival will not be taking place here for the first time since 1980. Reporting live in Silver Lake, I'm Leela Feinstein. Let's send it back to you. Obviously Lila, being too big will not be a problem this year as the festival will not be taking place here for the first time since 1980. In Silver Lake, I'm Leela Feinstein. Let's send it back to you.